So with all the running around I've been doing recently, I've been using a lot of data and buying weekly data isn't efficient anymore. And it's pointless me leaving my LTE SIM at home just because it doesn't make sense me carrying two phones around. So that's where dealing came in clutch yet again. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Prashant, welcome back to TechScene Z. Today, we're reviewing the D-Link DWR930M 4G LTE Mobile Pocket Router. So this is D-Link's attempt to break into the mainly Huawei-centered market of portable pocket routers and this is brand new to the South African market. For some of its key product features, it includes Cat4 LTE with 150 meg download and 50 meg upload. It has an 8 device capacity as well as MIMO 1x2. It has two internal Wi-Fi antennas and a 3000 milliamp hour poly lithium ion battery for a long lasting life. It includes WPA and WPA2 as security protocol. This is for someone who wants Wi-Fi coverage but is on the move and can't be plugged in. You can have a look at the D-Link website to find out some of the retailers who are selling this. So what are some of my personal opinions of this? It's convenient plug and play, it's small enough to fit in your pocket and saves you the hassle of carrying around two phones or having two SIM cards. The rechargeable battery means you aren't tied to a wall outlet or plug point. And yeah, I mean, how much more can you say about such a small device? Some of the pros. So it's 3000 milliamp hour battery. It's a long lasting battery. It has excellent quality build just what D-Link is known for. Just like the 4G LTE router that I recently reviewed, the DWR961. If you haven't seen that video, links up there in the YouTube cards. Yeah, so with that good quality build, I mean, this is a white pocket router and you don't want this thing getting dirty there. Otherwise, you're just gonna look like you're carrying around a pile of sand or something else that's brown. Yeah, so it's good quality build and the plastic doesn't stain. The other thing that I found to be a pro with this is that it takes a micro SIM card. And that was convenient for me. Like in my review of the 4G LTE router, I said, you know what, this takes a full SIM card and I didn't have the converters to actually fit the SIM card in and I ended up going and buying a SIM card just for the um, converters to convert it to a full SIM and put it in that. This, you don't have to stress about that because this uses what everyone else is using. So some of the cons. So with no visible display or control panel, at first you don't really know what's going on and it takes you a while to learn, I mean, you know, how to control it and so you know what's happening with your device. And the second thing is the internal antennas. So as I said, when I reviewed the 4G LTE router again, uh, f when I went from my 4G phone and put the SIM into the 4G router, I saw a difference of nearly uh, seven megabit speed because it was I was getting about five megabits average on my phone. And in the router, I achieved nearly 12. So with this, uh, it, it wasn't great, but you average about the same or a little bit more better speeds, but that too, it depends. It's not too low, not too high. So that that's a bit of the problem with the internal antennas that I found with this device. Yeah, so moving on to the product conclusion. Just like with the 4G LTE router, uh, full, the big one, it saves you battery life on your phone instead of having you carry two phones around for uh, Wi-Fi coverage if you have that. This is convenient. It has a good 
build quality and design. I mean, the only thing, as I said, no visible displays, but you have your LEDs in the front that tell you what's going on. So all in all, it's good to see something different to the market. Seeing only Huawei routers and everyone being um, accustomed to seeing Huawei routers, it's good to see other companies break into the market and do something different. Yeah, uh, there's nothing more I can say. Small device, but it does wonders. It saves you battery life. And I can go on and on and on. So once again, thank you very much to Dealing for sending out this little pocket router for us to review. Uh, guys, I must reiterate this. I am not paid to say any of these things. These are my personal opinions featured in this video. And I haven't been paid or anything to endorse this product. If you enjoyed this video, guys, you can let me know by giving me a like rating if you did. And if you aren't subscribed, get subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos. You can show your support to Texting ZA by heading over to shop.texingza.co.za, purchasing a shirt, keyrings, we even have some caps. Um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashan. I'll see you in the next video.